And the shit like on one of those uh, videos I said before that I'm not really that too concerned about probably past or not, you know. Because as we all know, it's, all, it's only going to get overturned on some sort of constitutional challenge, whether it's in the state Supreme Court again or even in the federal court, even in the U.S. Supreme Court, as far as but if it's in the U.S. Supreme Court, it can basically put an end to the whole so-called traditional marriage movement altogether, you know. But there's just those people who feel like they just want to keep engaged in the closet when they rightfully belong. It's just, as I said before, you know, many times, just like how it was with blacks, you know, how back in the 50s and the 60s, there were just people who, they were just the whites who just wanted to keep blacks where they belong, you know, and then maybe even before, with like, people who were even Christian, you know, like with the Jewish people, they just wanted where they belong, and, but apparently, it hasn't really worked that way. So it's definitely not going to work this time around, you know, as far as with the whole issue with gay marriage and all that sort of stuff. It's not going to really go where I make gays immediately disappear and then, you know, or force them to become straight or whatever that matter is because the whole man always protects the minority, no matter how much oppression the majority is. But apparently, I think some of those people don't really understand that. That the state Supreme Court has basically done their job and looked at all of everything, you know, that that rights of minority cannot be violated by the tyranny of the majority, you know. And that's especially what happened here. And that's basically what's going to happen as far as whatever huge little lawsuit in federal courts that at this one's probably passes, you know. And it give or take how many, how long it takes to go through the appeal process and go through all that stuff, you know. And then the problem here is this whole tradition, the whole traditional marriage people have a tough road to follow because they have all these other kind of states that are a little bit more liberal. And the next up would be like Washington, and of course uh, Minnesota, and of course some states that are kind of somewhere in the middle. You know, like uh, New York or all the New England states for that matter, or even all the states that are in, um, that are kind of somewhat there, but it may be a stretch for them because after that there's like only like seven more states you have to do, and that would be like Washington and uh, Minnesota, New Mexico, New York. Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Connecticut, and Maryland, and Delaware, and North Carolina, and Wyoming, and uh, New Mexico, and, and then they pretty much have, they pretty much have, have, have uh, their little amendment, but even if the amendment Hits on its way to gets in the way of the Constitution, it'll get overturned because the 14th Amendment, as I said before, is just you can't really go around and oppress a minority and just simply because you don't like what they do behind closed doors, or just simply because they worship a different church, or simply because of the color of their skin, or simply because they're female. Or simply because of all these other little things, you know. So, what then? What's next?
Life. 